Justice League Dark, issue number 12 from DC Comics. So Justice League Dark has been like one of the few series out there that I freaking love. Um, there, I mean, it's 12 issues in so far, and there hasn't been an issue that I've been disappointed with. Um, and I've been disappointed with a lot of comics lately. Anyone who's been watching my manga reviews will know that comics have just... I'm, I'm really losing interest in them really, really fast. Um, they're just all kind of, they're either bad or they're just, they're okay, but not enough that I want to travel every week to the comic book store and buy the next issue. Um, but Justice League Dark has been one where I'm actually like excited to read. So this is Chaos Reigns. This is, I believe the end of the Chaos arc, at least the way this issue ends kind of seems like that's how it is. Like basically, it ends this arc and kind of sets up for the next one. So basically, um, we have the, um, I believe they're called the Lords of Order. It's It's been a while since I've read Justice League Dark. It's been over a month and I've been reading a lot of things in between. So I'm not completely f remembering the names. But uh, basically, they're the originators of magic on Earth. And um, they're in uh, Mira, I believe is the name of the place. And they're... Basically taking over. They're, uh, as we see here, they're basically offering um, all the supernatural or magical uh, people here um, a chance to live. But if you want to live, they will have to strip you of all your magic and then erase your memories of anything supernatural, anything magical. So, for example, this uh, werewolf dude becomes a full human and he's going to forget about ever being a werewolf. So, um, yeah, we got everyone basically lining up for this. And then, of course, we have uh, our heroes who are against this, except for Jason Blood, who apparently is all for this. I don't know, Jason Blood is kind of weird. <laughs> He's He caves in way too uh, easily in this, in, in the previous issue, and in this issue, he yeah, caves in way too easily, but then later on, he decides to fight back once someone else steps up <laughs> like he kind of comes across like a coward like he caves in way too fast to the the lords of order and then when like well i'll i'll, I'll get to that in a moment um so yeah basically i mean swamp thing is against it um detective chimp is against it uh forget this guy's name um khalid uh he's uh dr fate's protege he's against it um so let's see, let's skip. So here we have um, uh, Zaytana and uh, Wonder Woman. So in the last issue, uh, they met with, oh, who the hell was his name? Oh, uh, Mordru. They met with Mordru and he kind of granted them this really dark magical ability. So they're all basically hopped up on this dark magic, which apparently erases their breasts. <laughs> like it's just something that I noticed. I'm like, why are they so flat chested? Especially Wonder Woman. <laughs> and the one woman also kinda well, I guess she does have the hips. It's kinda kinda mannish. Yeah. But basically, once Wonder Woman and um Zaytana arrive with topped up magic and uh she's able to give uh, they're able to give it to uh, Detective Champ Swamp thing and uh Man Bat. That's when Jason Todd I'm not Jason Todd. <laughs> Jason Blood. That's when he's like, Oh, there's women here to fight my battles now and they're they're able to grant abilities to, you know, everyone else in the group. Okay, now I'm gonna step up and, and fight alongside them. <laughs> it's like where were you before? You're like so easy to give up, you coward. Um but yeah, well, uh, so we get this really cool moment where to I this the the writing in this is very almost like poetic, and usually to me that kind of comes across as very pretentious. Like I'm one of those people. Like for okay, for example, um, I have just uh, ordered um Chaos versus Hackslash. I haven't received it yet. I had to actually order that through uh, eBay. Because uh, my storm, for some reason, are not able to to order the issue that already came out. 
they're able to um, order like the, you know the next issues and stuff like that, but they're not able to do any back orders on that series and just that series for some reason. So uh, I had to order it through eBay. So now I gotta wait like a week or two before it comes in. Anyways, uh, rambling aside, the crow, very. Um, here's the thing: I might get the hate for this. I find it very pretentious. Like I both love the crow series. Well, I haven't read the books. Um, I have watched the movies. I watched all the movies. Um, and while I do really enjoy the movies, I will say that some of the poetic emo dialogue and stuff, to me, this is just me, comes across very pretentious and cringy. So, like, but that that's kind of just how I am. Like, anytime when you get, like, poetic um, dialogue and stuff, I always just kind of roll my eyes a bit. But that's just a personal taste. Um, that's used here, but it actually works. Uh, basically, they fight magic, not magic against magic in a sense. Like they're not like it's not like Dragon Ball only. Instead of uh, you know chi, it's magic. Instead, they're um, they're uh, using it in a sense like the way to destroy or the way to beat the words of chaos is to break magic in a sense by like magic is whatever you want it to be magic is the impossible magic is um like there's no limits to it there's no laws in fact the laws that dc usually had for magic were only kind of put there from like the lords of chaos and stuff like that and everyone else is kind of obeys them because they don't want to like break reality or anything like that but there's technically no laws anyone can do whatever the hell they want with magic uh, and that's the way to beat the Lords of Chaos. So we have this really cool scene, this page where we have Zaytana basically um, saying, "You got to break it, break it all." So she, we have like a panel with Man Bat, and then she actually grabs the panel, folds it, crumples it, and then shatters it. And that's like the visual representation of her breaking the magic laws and i'm like oh that this page is so freaking cool like that's such a cool way to do it but uh yeah like uh the rules of order that uh underly all of magic were written by them each of those rules gives them power we need to take uh that power away so uh and break it all um and even her dialogue i thought this was cool her dialogue is even broken because uh uh zaytana when she does her um her magic her dialogue is basically whatever she wants to happen, but backwards, like kind of like mirror image. Instead, it's it's jumbled. It's like an anagram. So I mean, uh, it took it takes a while, but yeah, break it all. Um, whereas before it would be you know B R E A K. Instead, it's just the words all jumbled up because she's even breaking her her dialogue. And I thought, okay, that's that's awesome. Like. I'm gonna just gonna sit on this page just a little bit moment long because I just I freaking love this. I just I love the whole grabbing the panel, crumpling it, and then shattering it to represent breaking magic, as well as even breaking her dialogue. Like that's just such a cool representation. Uh, and then uh, yeah, we get uh, uh, Nadir um, confronting Doctor Fate. Uh, let me just move this away because I don't want to get copyright strike. I don't want to see if there's anything else worth, uh, which worth showing. I'll show that I guess just this one page, um, just because I think it's kind of cool. Uh, the artwork in this is really awesome, and again, like I just I love, I love just the, the crazy, creative way that they go about the fight scene. Like the way that they're they're showing like the breaking of the magic. I'm not gonna show more because I don't want one copyrights and I don't want um I don't wanna spoil anything because I, I really highly recommend this. I can I can't say enough about this series. Like anyone who who's looking for like a trade paperback or whatever, like you know, something to to, to read, I highly recommend picking up the Justice League Dark trade paperback. I highly recommend like reading this from from the beginning. There are like arcs um in this series. But every arc plays into the next one, very manga like. <laughs> like what is brought up in like the first issue, the second issue plays into later issues. Like the Witching Hour with Wonder Woman plays into this. 
um, Zaytana and uh, her like uh, dialogue with Constantine about her father and all that stuff plays into this arc. Like every every little thing is kind of like foreshadowed and then played into the next arc. Um, you can jump into arcs without reading the previous series, and you won't be too lost. But for anyone who's reading from the uh, the for, you know the uh, from issue one on, you're you're able to pick up all these little like nuances and these little um, again basically like little uh, nuggets of foreshadowing that plays off, and it's done beautifully. Uh, I again like I, I I love this series. I'll say this is probably like the best. Um, ongoing comic book series at the moment uh it's never disappointed me uh even the more i don't even want to say mediocre i guess mediocre in terms of when compared to the other issues in this but even even the uh the, ser- uh, the issues that are not as great are still really good compared to like other um issues from other series out there like justice league dark's worse can be compared to like some other series best or average like it's it's that good i have yet to 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 read an an issue of justice league dark that has left me disappointed or uh left me thinking man that was a waste of 3.99 so uh yeah justice league dark chaos reigns highly recommend uh grabbing this issue i highly recommend reading this series um i don't know much about uh tinian the fourth i hope i pronounced that name right but from what I've, I mean, this is all I've kind of read from him. This and his um, short Wonder Woman um, issues, but that that again was tied into this series. But I've really enjoyed that. Uh, I've enjoyed his stuff so far, so I might want to check out some other things from him. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what else he has. But yeah, great series. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Here's uh, another comic book uh, review. I know it's been a while. Since I've done them, I've been more focused on uh, mangas. Um, hopefully, maybe we'll get more for Mondays and stuff like that. But don't quote me on that, just because, like I said, I'm 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 really losing interest in comics really fast. Um, the series that like I do enjoy, I've already like reviewed plenty of stuff from those series. Like Justice League Dark, this is like what six, seven issue I've reviewed. So I don't want to feel like I'm reviewing the same series over and over and over again. But that's pretty much what I got to do because <laughs> cause finding something from 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 comics lately that, that good is just so freaking hard, man. I can't. It's it's tough. Like I'm enjoying manga way more than I am comic books. Um, and I don't want to be one of those that focuses on the negative stuff. Like I don't. I hardly ever do negative comic book reviews. Like I've done a couple just to kind of um, break the pattern, but I want my channel to be more positive. So I try to I try to focus on things I enjoy. Um, with the out though in the occasional like you know review where I kind of roast, like you know I'm, I'm looking at like Domino or uh, Heroes in Crisis, you know stuff like that. But for the most part, I want to do reviews on series that I actually like really like or just stuff that's good. Like I want this to be more a more positive channel because there's plenty of channels out there that talk about all the negative aspects of the comic book industry, and you know that's fine. Like I I, I enjoy those those channels, but I don't want to be a copy of those. I also just there's so much negativity out there. I don't want to be surrounding myself with negativity all the time. I want this to be more positive. So I try to I try to basically give like a spotlight to stuff that I think is good. Or things that I enjoy. And maybe hopefully you guys will enjoy it as well. But uh, when it comes to comic books. That's very very hard to do lately. Uh, So I might either just. Have to just stick with manga for the most part. And do the occasional comic book review. Or maybe I'll try to do some more retro stuff. Retro comic reviews. Just because like like I said. It's it's really really hard. To find um, comics that I enjoy. That I haven't already uh reviewed over and over and over again for this channel but yeah uh tell me what you guys think hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe if you guys haven't already hit the bell for notification leave a like if you enjoyed the video feel free to comment down below and uh help spread the word on this channel i'm trying to hit 400 subscribers by the end of the year we're almost i mean we're like about 340 something last i checked so just you know a few more uh (laughs) just like 
50 more, 60 more, I, I believe, will be there. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you guys next time. Later.